So you want to get more FPS in Minecraft 1.18.2. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do exactly that. Get as much FPS as you possibly can in Minecraft. First and most, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyc slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we have our own server. Play breakdowncraft.com on them, so if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and get Minecraft optimized and lag free increasing your fps literally it's not uncommon to go from like 30 fps to over 300 with some of the settings we're going to be changing here now first things first i do want to mention that we're going to be using optifine in this video luckily in the description down below we have this guide which is our 1.18.2 guide to getting optifine it goes over everything you need to know and then we have helped millions of people get optifine in minecraft at this point so go through this tutorial it's for sure to help you get optifine set up and then once you have it set up we'll meet you in the minecraft launcher with your optifine profile here. Then we want to go over to installations and then click on the three lines on our Optifine profile and click on edit. Then come under more options and scroll down and here at the beginning is where we can add more RAM to Minecraft. Now two gigabytes usually is good enough but if you are going to be doing some things like shaders and stuff like that that's going to lower your FPS significantly and increase your RAM usage significantly. So because of that it can be smart to up this to four gigabytes. With that being said, if you do have issues after doing this, just come back in here and change this by clicking reset and you'll be good to go. Some systems don't have enough RAM to be able to dedicate 4 gigabytes to Minecraft, so just click reset and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, we can click save and we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Optifine. Now, I am going to do a benchmark here at the beginning to just kind of show you what our FPS is at the beginning and then I'm going to show you what our FPS is at the end and then uh, we can compare the two, right? Basically see how much FPS I've gained. I encourage you to do the same. Go jump into Minecraft into your world, anything like that, and get an FPS reading. So let's go ahead and do it. So here we are in Minecraft. I do have a resource pack turned on, and that's actually the first thing that I would recommend doing to lower lag in Minecraft is coming in here into options and then clicking resource packs and then deselecting any resource packs you have. That's just going to make things so much simpler. Some people say you can install a resource pack and increase performance in Minecraft. That doesn't work because if we notice, no matter what resource pack is over here, Minecraft still loads the default textures. So because of that, just make sure it's the default textures here under select selected resource packs and you'll be good. Now though, let's go ahead and jump on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. And once we're in game, we're gonna go ahead and hit F3. Now what that's gonna do is open up and show our FPS in the top right of Minecraft. So boom, here we are, if we hit F3, in the top, excuse me, left of Minecraft up here, we can see all of the different stuff that is basically here. So we've got the FPS, which is 45 and 12. It's really, really low. That is super low FPS. So we're gonna do before FPS is 45, and 12 you're gonna be blown away what that changes into it's pretty consistent I could even say that that was even maybe hitting 50 and 15 but overall that is very bad FPS we're gonna get over a hundred probably over 300 once we're done here so keep that in mind that's where that is you can also depending on optifine and what your optifine settings are set it up to where you have fps showing automatically in the top left as you can see we'll turn that on in our optifine setup process nevertheless let's go ahead quit out of minecraft here and play our breakdowncraft.com and once we're here in minecraft i'm gonna make it easier on the editor and pull this up full screen with Minecraft. Boom, there we go. And now let's go ahead and click on options. Then what we want to do is go ahead and select video settings. Now in here, you'll have all of your Optifine video settings. And if you don't have Optifine installed, this video is just simply not going to work. So the goal of this video is to make Minecraft playable. Now some stuff like render distance, you might want to turn up after this video to get a better playable experience. But right now I'm assuming you, assuming you can't play Minecraft at all, right? That it's just so laggy, you can't play it at all. We're going to fix that by basically turning everything down, all the stuff off, and then you can come back in here and play with individual settings. Something people like to play with is render distance, is graphic settings, and maybe even try out shaders if you want. Know though that shaders are a huge lag cause and we're going to disable those. Nevertheless though, let's go ahead and turn our graphics to fast, our render distance and simulation distance all the way down, smooth lighting off, smooth lighting level off, and frame rate, make that unlimited. That way you can see how much frame rate you can actually get out of Minecraft. Technically, GUI scale 1 is going to be the less, like least laggy. However, we're going to leave it at 3 so you can actually see what I'm doing. And Entity Shadows, we're going to turn that off. Attack Indicator and Brightness, it doesn't matter. 
Dynamic lights need to be turned off. Dynamic FOV doesn't really affect performance. You can leave it on or off if you want. I personally don't like it, so I turn it off. Shaders, we can go ahead and click on and turn off. You want to make sure shaders are completely turned off in order for this to work. So as you can see, shaders turned off. We can click done now. And then come over to quality. And everything here needs to either be off, like map levels. We just turn that off off and the scrub filtering needs to be turned off or it needs to be turned to fast so as you can see most stuff here is going to be turned to off let me go through this page and so it's like not reloading all the time and i'll show you what these settings are so actually on this screen everything is off mint map levels and scrub filtering immersive textures better grass custom fonts connected textures custom sky custom entity models and everything on the right hand side as well from random entities down to fov effects can all be turned off fov doesn't really affect performance but i again don't like it so i turn it off but everything on this page is going to be listed as off except for mint map type up here can be a nearest is what you want but other than that all of that is off then we can move on to detail here. So once we're in here, clouds can be turned off, cloud height turned all the way down to off, trees need to be turned to fast, rain and snow needs to be turned off, sky off, stars off, sun and moon off, show capes off, fog off, fog start, doesn't matter because we just turned fog off, view bobbing, go ahead and turn that on or off, doesn't really change performance, but I personally actually like it on, so I'll leave it on there. Held on tooltips, doesn't affect performance, auto save indicator, also doesn't affect performance, swamp colors, turn that off, vignette, turn that to fast alternative blocks turn that off entity distance turned all the way down and bio blend turned off so there are your settings for your detail page there. Some stuff is left on if you want it. It could be turned off. It doesn't matter. Trees need to be turned to fast and entity distance needs to be turned all the way down. From there, we can move on to our performance tab. And this is where everything doesn't need to be turned off. Actually, everything in here needs to be turned on. Now, one thing I'm going to leave off for me is smooth FPS. That's because I want to see exactly how much FPS we can get out of this, right? If you want to like make things smooth, make things run lag free, turn this on. Smooth FPS is going to turn on. It's going to lower your FPS overall, but it's going to make the game so much smoother, but I'm going for power. So we need to turn off smooth FPS. Smooth World is the similar thing. I'm going to leave that off because you can see it stabilizes FPS. I don't want that. I want FPS to go insane and have huge highs. And so because of that, we're going to leave that off, but you should turn both of these on. Chunk updates need to be turned to one. Dynamic updates need to be turned on. Lazy chunk loading needs to be turned on. And chunk builder needs to be turned to threaded. Now, if you do have an instance of where a lot of like holes and chunks are appearing and you'll notice this there'll just be a black square like big black square in the middle of all the other chunks you can actually turn this to semi blocking it's going to move it in the middle right between fully blocking which is going to be very laggy and threaded so if you do notice that, you can turn that to semi-blocking, but threaded is going to be the best for performance. One thing I also want to mention is how we have this set up currently. When you're standing still, more chunks around you will load than when you're moving, right? So if there's any little bit of lag while you're standing still, that's usually okay. However, if there's lag when you're moving, it's more noticeable. So by setting this up this way, Optimal will load chunks around us while we're standing still, and while we're moving, it is going to stop loading chunks and increase performance. Now we can move on to animations. I love this one because all you got to do on this page is click all off and you're done that's all you've got to do that's why i love animations then we come over here to other and everything in here can kind of be left the same except for two settings one is fps now as i said you can make optifine show fps automatically in the top left turn on show fps here and it will do that then auto save if you're noticing like jump lags every six minutes or so in single player that is going to be auto save by default this is going to be 45 seconds what I always say here is, how much work can you lose in Minecraft? For me, that's going to be about six minutes. If I lose five, ten minutes of work, that's fine. I couldn't lose 30 minutes or 24 minutes of work in Minecraft. I just couldn't do it. But if you could, go ahead and change that to there if you're getting lag from saving, right? For example, by default, that would be every 45 seconds you're kind of getting jumps. So it's like, fine, and then jump lag. Fine, and then jump lag. If that's the case, turn this up and auto saving might fix it for you. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and click done. And now all of Optifine is set up. You're going to be blown away by how much FPS boost we get. Now, remember, before it was 45, 12, 15, 50, something like that. 900, 300. 800, 400 is where it seems to be stable. I mean, 10x, over 10x more FPS. Now, as we move, it's actually going to increase some because like I said, when you're standing still is when chunks are loading. When you're moving, less chunks are loading. So as you can see, we're breaking over a thousand FPS there, which is absolutely insane. Now, my PC is very, very good, right? Intel Core i9, all of that stuff, very good system. However, for you, even things like 60 FPS, that's what I would try to shoot for 
30 FPS is playable, right? So if you can get this first number to show 30, that is playable. 60 FPS there is also very stable and very good and honestly all you need. Anything over that is just showing off, which is what I'm doing here. I am showing off. It's that simple. Go play this on this server, by the way. This is play.breakdowncraft.com. This is our medieval resource world, also known as Medieval Wild. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool, honestly. I mean, look at this. And by the way, I actually don't think the render distance is too bad. Like, I can actually play with this render distance, but you can turn it up. I, for example, have plenty of room. As long as you're getting over 60 FPS on that first number, you are honestly good to be able to turn up render distance, add in shaders, add in different things like that to bump up that FPS number. So nevertheless, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week, including content on Optifine, on reducing lag, on shaders, on Minecraft servers, and on Minecraft mods. Anything you want to know about Minecraft and how to do it, we have it here on this channel or it's coming very soon. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. My name is Nick. Come play with us on playdartbreakdowncraft.com and I am out. Peace.